Let's add finishing touches to any design in Photoshop. We're gonna be working with this Nate Goff poster. First thing I'm gonna do is create a folder that I'm gonna call finishing. This is what I do in pretty much all my designs. And our first step with creating some finishing touches is we're gonna create a new layer and using the shortcut Command Option Shift E, that's gonna create a layer of the image as we're currently looking at it. So you can see here in the layers panel, this is the full image. We're gonna make this layer a smart object by going up to filter, convert for smart filters. And now we're gonna go up to camera raw filter. And if you haven't used camera raw filter before, it's basically like Adobe Lightroom, but it's in Photoshop. And you can adjust things like exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, different types of coloring. So I'm just gonna go through here and make some adjustments. We'll bring down the highlights because it's a pretty bright image. Maybe increase the shadows a little bit. The whites can stay up. I find myself generally wanting to create a little bit more contrast at the end of designs, but also do things like increase texture and clarity. You can see the effects can make the sky look really dramatic like that or very soft and glowy if you're into that. So we're gonna find a happy medium there. Dehaze, you can see it's it's adding a lot more blue to the sky. I kind of like it a little bit more muted as is. And then we're gonna go down to effects and add some vignetting on the edges. And that'll just bring the focus more towards the player in the center. Okay, so already pretty big difference. You can see before and after just using camera raw is a great first step. Now we're gonna add some grain and we're gonna do that by creating a new layer, filling it with 50% gray, and then going up to filter, convert for smart filters so we can edit it later if we need to. And then going back up to filter, noise, add noise. And 7% should be pretty good. Then we'll set the blend mode to soft light and you'll see when you zoom in, it just creates this grain fuzziness over the entire image. It just kind of helps bring everything together as sort of a basic texture you can put on anything. And speaking of textures, now would be the time to add any textures or overlays that you want affecting the entire design. So I'm gonna go into my finder and I have this light streaks texture that kind of makes sense for a sky type graphic. If you set the blend mode to screen, that's gonna basically only show the white parts of the image. I'm gonna flip it vertically. And just have some, some light streaking down the left side there, or maybe we have it more on the player. So we could tone down the effect by reducing the opacity. And I think I like it on the left side. We'll keep the opacity up. One other subtle texture I'm gonna add are these dust particles. And this is fairly common in sports designs to kind of have just some, some little white specks going across the colored parts of any image. So you can see it's also making the image a little bit more hazy, which we could get rid of if we go into the blending options and separate the blacks here and then hold option and click and then drag that will take away the black parts of the image and we'll be left with just the white specks affecting the image. One thing we can do from a color standpoint is go to your adjustment layers and add color lookup. And you can just scroll through these options and see what looks good to you. Some might look way off, like bleach bypass, but others you might like the vibe of. You can always like tone down these effects too. Like I was liking uh, three strip or two strip? Three strip kind of pops these blues out, but if we didn't want it so harsh, we could bring down the opacity and just make a subtle adjustment there. You can also add another color lookup and find different effect. Some of these Fuji Kodak ones might be interesting. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them are subtle and then some of them are, are not so subtle. So it's just about finding the, the right combination that makes sense to you. The last thing you could do color wise is go to your adjustment layers and add a gradient map. And there's a lot of preset options. You might want like a purpley, 
purpley blue graphic, you know, whatever overlaying color you want your final image to look like, there's a lot of options in here. And we don't want to do this full effect. Like if we wanted, if we had like a sunset scene and went with one of these, for example, we would reduce the opacity a bunch. It kind of gives this like pink and yellow wash over the image, which I don't mind here, but I think we'll keep ours without a gradient map. And now we can collapse our folder and turn it off and on. And you can see the difference these finishing touches made.